Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Berto Worry here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I decided to, to do it early than to do it to do my video late because today I'm going to be on roller skating. I've got so many um, appointments today and um, they're interlapping and I guess got enough time to get from one location to the next. So just bear with me. So then this is a review on Mind Cure, okay? Mind Cure. Hey, John. Thank you so much for stopping by, my friend. So this is a review on the Mind Cure. This was like a almost like a four weeks um, series that I that I did, and of course, it's on uh, the book is the Ministry of Healing, Chapter 18, a Mind Cure. That's what we're just discussing. And so, with that, my sister, my brother, I've got to ask you: Did you guys take time out to study? We must study. We must study the word. We must, 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 must. And of course, we know it's later than we think. It is later than we think. We are running out of time. And we know Jesus is a gentleman. He keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts. And he states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. John 3, 16. And this is a great book, Steps to Christ. So it says, How to Know Him Better. And this is, every time I come up here, this is my goal for us to have a closer relationship with Jesus, an intimate relationship with Jesus, okay? That is my goal for every topic that I discuss. Well, this little book here has a wealth of information, has a wealth of information. I mean, it says, God, love for man, sinner needs for Christ, repentance, confession, consecration, faith and acceptance, test of discipleship. That's a great one. Growing up into Christ, the work and the life, the, the acknowledgement of God, the knowledge of God and the privilege of prayer and what to do with doubt. Mm, don't we need that? And then rejoice in the Lord. Always we need to be rejoicing. So this little book has a wealth of information. And it comes it comes in a smaller size if you want it to just be able to take it out. And you can read, to read, to read. And so with that, my sister, Miranda, let us bow for prayer. We go into the review. The kind of gracious center, Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I ask you right now that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. But before we go into the review of Mind Cure, let us turn over to uh, Psalms. I had it marked here. Uh, actually, it's Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28, uh, verses 26. Proverbs 28, verses 26. And it says, He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Mm. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's go into the review. So if you want deeper studies, just go scroll down on my page and you'll see the different topics that I've covered under Mind Cure. And you can also find me over by YouTube under Burdell Warrior. Um, you could find the whole lessons there as well. So let's go into review. It says the relation that exists between the mind and the body is very intimate. It says when one is affected, the other sympathizes. The condition of the mind affects the health to a far greater degree than many realize. And it says, courage, hope, faith, sympathy, love promotes health and prolongs life. A contented mind, a cheerful spirit is health to the body and strength to the soul. A merry or rejoicing heart do it good like medicine and you could probably find this in Proverbs 17 22. so here is point one control of mind over mind in the state let me go so there is however a form of mind cure that is one of the most effective agency of evil and it goes on to state as that through this so-called science one mind is brought under the control of another so that the individuality of the weaker is emerged in that of the stronger mind. And here it says, It is not God's purpose that any human being should yield his mind and will to the control of another, becoming a passive instrument 
in his hand. Okay, so if you want more, you can just go and uh, you will find it there. And it goes on to state here. Let me see if this is part. No, this is not part of it. So here's point two. Point two, sympathy. Sympathy. And it says, great wisdom is needed in dealing with diseases caused through the mind. Is that a sore, sick heart, a discouraged mind needs mild treatment. That's point one. Actually, that was point two. Point three is the power of the will. This was the topic that we covered, power of the will. And this was taken on, we did this on June 13th. It says, the power of the will is not value as it should be. Let the will be kept awake and rightly directed, and it will impart energy to the whole being and will be a wonderful aid in the maintenance of health. So that was part three. Here's uh, review part four, point four, I should say, point four. Um, Bible principles of cure. For those who would regain or preserve health, there is a lesson in the words of scripture. Be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. Ephesians 5.18 Christ is the wellspring of life. Here's point number five, and this is in help in every trial. This was happened. This took place on June seventeenth. We are in a world of suffering, difficulties, trials. It says we are in a world of suffering, difficulties, trials, and sorrow awaits us all along the way to the heavenly home. But there are many who makes life burdens doubly heavy by continually and anticipating troubles. That's point number five. Here is point number six. The healing promises. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolated and this is you find this in psalms 34 22 that's point number six here is point number seven and this was under gratitude and praise and this is taking place on uh thursday on june 20th and it says nothing tend more to promote health of body and of soul than does a spirit of gratitude and praise mm. that's point number seven Here's point number eight. This was uh, sing praises. Let praise and thanksgiving be expressed in song. When tempted, instead of giving utterance to our feelings, let us by faith lift up a song of thanksgiving to God. Mm. Point number eight. And this is point number nine. And this was under doing good. Doing good. And this was... Thursday, June 27th, doing good. One of the surest hindrance to the recovery of the sick is the centering of attention upon themselves. Many invalids feel that everyone should give them sympathy and help when they when what they need is to have their attention turned away from themselves to think of and care for others others mm. wow and that was doing good and it's um you could go in there and find it just scroll down and you'll find it and then that was like i did like that was like two parts that was two parts so here is um point number that was that point number nine right and then this is point number ten it says sometime god turned our bitterness into sweet Sometimes he gives us pleasant water springs. Sometimes he shade us with his pillar cloud. And sometimes to a blessed palm shade brings. Mm. And you can find that I did that on not too long. That was a couple of days ago. And here is the last one. Point number 11. Point number 11. And this one here, it says, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. 
I did, did this one yesterday. It said, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Okay, so here let me go ahead and do the closing of to close out the mind cure. Uh, here is the point I want to make into the closing. It says, It is not wise to look to ourselves and study our emotions. If we do this, the enemy, the enemy will present difficulties and temptation that weaken faith and destroy courage. Closely to study our emotion and give way to our feelings is to entertain doubt and enta entangle ourselves in perplexity. We are to look away from self to Jesus. Here's another point. When temptation assailed you, when care, perplexity, and darkness seems to surround your soul, look to the place where you lost, lost, saw the light. Rest in Christ's love and under his protecting care. Okay? And so so that's so let me go back to my blessed assurance song. I usually have a hymn, so the hymn would be the blessed assurance, right? So here is the um, the last verse, verse number three of blessed assurance. It says, perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. Here's the chorus. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. So what is the remedy for mind cure? Is resting in the arms of Jesus. Praising my Savior all the day long. So whatever you find yourself, my sister, my brother, we need to have more gratitude and praise of what God has done, done for us in the past what he's doing for us now and what he's promised to do for us in the future. So we need to go back to the word. We have to study the word. It's a must. And that will give us our mind cure. So that's the conclusion of mind cure. So tomorrow is, um, was it? Um, Independence Day. So what I'll do, I'll take, we'll take tomorrow off and then I will resume on Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. However, I'm not sure which topic I will cover. However, it's still going to be in the book of ministry, um, on the ministry of healing. I'm still going to be using that particular book. So, and then my sister, my brother, hope you guys have a safe and happy uh, day and uh, make sure that you be um, do everything that is safe for tomorrow. So with that, let us bow for prayer. Dear kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I thank you for my sister, my brother, Father. Whatever there is lacking in their life, Father, we ask you, Father, that you will just fulfill it according to your will. Father, if there's anything that I have said or I have done or anything that we have done, Father, we ask you that you will forgive us uh, at this moment, Father. Wash us and make us clean. Father, give us the power and the strength to do what is right in your sight. Father, be with us today, and we just thank you, thank you for being the mighty God you are, for giving us, for sending Jesus Christ to die on Calvary's cross, Father. We just thank you for being the God, the God that controls this universe. So be with each one of us. Continue to allow us, Father, to have the strength that we need to fall at your feet and leave our burdens at your feet, Father. Be with us today is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Okay, my brothers and my sister. So we, I won't see you tomorrow, Thursday, but we'll come back again on, I will come back again on Friday. So be blessed. Take care.